So, man, everybody's talking about this Gina Carano situation. So I figured I'd throw my two cents in for what it's worth. You know, of course, you by this point, you know who she is. Former martial artist um, turned actor. She's done, uh, I think, like The Mandalorian f- for Disney+. Plus, and she was scheduled to do some other shows for them as well. Okay. You know, she's a likable enough person. Um, has a pretty good screen presence. She has a good fan base, and I hear that the character is popular, and actually the toys sell fairly well. Now, she has one unfortunate problem. Okay, she's not a murderer. She's not a killer. Um, she has not been accused of molestation, molesting any kids, or doing anything like that. Okay, she's not selling drugs. She's not a slave, child sex trafficking. You know, no. What she has is she has an opinion. Okay. She has an opinion that some people don't like, and she tells them. She she oh she goes on social media, mainly Twitter, from what I understand, and she expresses her opinion. And I guess she doesn't back down from that. Now, I've looked at what she said, and for the most part, unless there's something I haven't seen yet, I'm not really certain what the big big whoop of it is. To be honest with you, um, she wouldn't put some pronouns in her bio, which honestly I don't see why anybody has to do it if they don't want to. Um, they said she's transphobic. But I don't, I really don't really understand the concept, man. I mean, anyways, I'm not going to get into that. But um, she's made some comments about wearing masks and vaccines or something like that. And you know what, man? To be honest with that, uh, if people don't want, to want to, don't want to wear the mask or they don't want to get the vaccine, there's a limit to what you can make other people do. And I'm sorry, I understand you know, some people are, are all about safety. I wear a mask whenever I go outside. And, I, and I'm going to get the vaccine as soon as I can. But you know what, man? What you're going to have to understand is there are people in this world who have a different opinion than us. And it doesn't matter how dumb or stupid you think that opinion is. Okay? Um, people have a right to express their opinion. All right? You can think it's goofy and you can think it's silly. I, I had somebody talk to me about the situation. And they said, oh, well, you know, her opinions are dangerous. Look, man, that, that's that's just the way it is. Okay? If somebody doesn't want to get that vaccine or they don't wear a mask, it's, it's a limit to what you can do. And people are responsible for their own, their own behavior. Anyways, what else did she do? She made a comment, I think, comparing what happened to Jewish people during the Holocaust with... um. The way conservatives are being treated. Now, that comparison doesn't make so much sense to me. But guess what? She isn't, from what I saw, she isn't uh, actively saying, go hurt Jewish people. I don't like black people. I don't like people of other races. I hate, I hate people, members of the LGBT. So I really don't understand why people got so upset about the, what she said. Also, you know, man, I don't really understand the whole thing with uh, this cancel culture stuff. I, I don't get it. Maybe I grew up, you know, I grew up in an era before this stuff really, before this stuff really got the way it is now. I mean, man, I, I used to walk down the street and have people call me the N-word, F-word, uh, all kind of vow, disgusting things because I wouldn't give them money. I get cursed out all the time, man. I'm to the point now where I walk around, you know, you got miserable people out here, miserable people in this world who want to who wanna blame you for their problems. I just put my headphones on and keep walking. I ignore these people. Okay. I have stuff out in real life 10 times worse than I hear, than I see on, on a social media. I think a lot of people blow this stuff out of proportion. I've never understood some of the, some of the, the amount of complaining about, oh, the internet is toxic. Oh, these video games are toxic. I mean, here's the thing. Walk away from the computer. I go and I play video games sometimes. And I get, I keep calling me, uh, all kind of foul stuff. Guess what? There are tools available to tune. I report them. I mute the sound. I block them. I only play with people on my friends list. Okay. Same thing on all these online sites. I mean, if I go to Twitter and there's somebody saying some stuff I don't like, guess what? I'm not going to read their tweets anymore. I'm certain Twitter has, oh yes, Twitter has the ability to block people or they used to just block the person and keep it moving. Okay. A lot of this stuff, man, I just don't understand. I feel like people blow stuff out of proportion. And it's a sense of power of being able to cancel somebody. I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't get it. Yeah, this stuff has gotten out of hand now. Where you're, I don't like what you're saying, so I'm going to get you fired from your job. 
oh, you got accused of doing something online. There's no evidence. There's no police report, no investigation. We don't care. You need to get fired. This stuff is all out of whack. It's all out of hand. And like I said, I, I don't know, man. Some of this stuff, I really don't understand where it's going. But I think at some point, we're going to we're gonna have to kind of rein this stuff in. Now, I will say from her standpoint, I really don't get if you're an actor, why you wasting your time on social media trying to, you know, going back and forth, talking to these people. It doesn't seem to me like it's worth it. Okay, I'm not an actor. I don't have, I'm not famous or anything. But I don't know, man. I think uh, for me, I don't think I'd be on Twitter or social media. I think I'd probably just stay off of that. Or, or I'd be... Uh, or I'd be in some kind of situation where maybe I have somebody, I'm posting stuff, maybe I have somebody just checking over my stuff, saying, hey, no, nah, this ain't a good idea, maybe you shouldn't post this, um, rework this, rewrite it, I don't know, but I think I would stay off of social media. I don't really see what the big benefit is. I mean, it's nice to be able to talk to your fans, but the situation has got to now where it's just some people who are, I don't know, emotionally unstable, who just can't understand or can't realize that hey other people don't agree with me or they have a different opinion okay and to me i'm sorry man uh it may offend you but it doesn't really matter what somebody else disagrees with you about it doesn't matter if it's religion religion uh your sexuality or what or, or your political opinions if they're not breaking a law i really don't understand why they should be fired or lose a job so in this situation I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, me personally, I would have said some of the stuff she said. I wouldn't even wasted my time going on social media. But as far as I see it, she didn't break any laws. And I think that's something we have to kind of get out of, man. Um, some of these companies are going to have to stop kind of just every time somebody gets in here and complains, running out the hole, let's fire them, let's get rid of them. She didn't break any laws. Okay. Now, I do think they need to do something. They need to um, sit down with some of these actors and tell them, when you get hired, hey, you know what? This is going to be part of your contract. Maybe we want you to stay off social media. Or maybe we're going to have a system where, you know, you you have to go through somebody else. You got to go through an agency, and the agency has to read your quotes and sanitize and scrub them. I don't know. Something needs to happen. But I, I don't think this situation here is going to work. This thing now where every time you every time you say something, I don't like it, I'm going to get you fired. It's just this is getting kind of ridiculous, and I'm not saying this because I'm the hugest fan of her, as I'm not, but I do think um I didn't really see what she got fired for, honestly. Okay, she basically got fired because she said something that somebody else didn't like. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know, man. It seems to me like we're getting a certain group of people too much power. You know, people who are continuously offended about everything. So I don't know. I mean, just my thoughts. I feel like there was a lot of mistakes. So on her part, I'm going to waste my time talking to these people. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be on social media. But at the same time, something does need to change. Some of these corporations and some of these people are just going to have to get a thicker skin, man. Or, you know, if you don't like what somebody is saying, you don't have to talk to them. It's no different from um you walking down the street talking to people. There's going to be people out in the real world that you like and people you don't like. OK, same thing on social media. If I run into somebody out on the on the real world, out on the street that I don't like, I'm not going to associate with them. Okay, this person on social media is saying something you don't like. You don't have to interact with them. Simple as that. I mean, I don't know, man. Just my thoughts.